Today's topic is Romex. Romex is a brand name of non-metallic cable and brand name is registered to Rome Wire and Cable but it's generically used to describe all NM cable. If you were to look at the NEC, the National Electrical Code, to see what rules pertain to it, you'd have to look for non-metallic sheath cable, type NM cable. The easiest way to strip Romex when you're dealing with the two-wire version is with a wire stripper that's made for stripping cables. This is for 14-2, this is for 12-2, and 12-2 is now generally coated being yellow. And since you're supposed to have six inches of free conductor in the box, you want to make sure that you strip enough cable for that. And as you strip it and pull the cable off, the sheeting off, you'll find some craft paper inside of it. You can then put this into a plastic box like this if you're going to nail it behind the wall or if you're going to secure it um, to a metal box like so then you would put a connector in one of these knockouts. You'd pry out the knockout and there are several styles of connectors. This is a three-quarter inch size for the larger Romex like range and dryers. This is for uh, two two-wire cables or one three-wire cable and this one is good for one two-wire cable 14-2, 12-2, two, or 10-2 and they work relatively simply all you do is put the cable into the connector so that it's a little bit past the end flip this up and just crimp it with a pliers. There are no moving parts. It snaps right into the box. There are no lock nuts to worry about. This little type of button connector could also be used. You push it into the knockout of the box and as you push the cable in it prevents it from coming back out, kind of like a Chinese finger grip. These two connectors could also be used. This one comes with a lock nut. This one snaps in into the place of the knockout. This is a much more difficult one to remove if you need to get it out later. Stripping three-wire cable is a little bit different. The one device that I tend to use for that is a utility knife with a hook blade. And always, but always, strip away from you as you're stripping the cable. And try to keep the edge of the utility knife blade flat along the inside of the sheathing so that you're not skinning the conductors as you're doing it. If you pull it towards you, it's only a matter of time before you go for stitches. And it can ruin your whole day. Then I usually just use a side cutters to peel the rest of the insulation off. And again, you have to use a connector to hold this to a box if you're using a metal box. If you're not using a metal box and you are using a plastic box, you should be into the box by about a quarter of an inch of solid sheath. If you go in too far, it makes it very difficult to splice the wires and get them pushed back in. There is one exception. Plastic boxes all have the inter integral cable clamps that hold the cable in place. With the exception of single gang boxes. These just have pry outs. 
if you use boxes with the integral cable clamps, the Romex must be stapled or secured within 12 inches of the box. If you use a box with the pry outs, they must be stapled within 8 inches. If you use a metal box, then you must ground the copper wire, the bare copper wire, to the green, to a green screw, an 832, a 1032 green screw. <clears throat> And if you have more than one cable in that box, the bears must be spliced together mechanically with a wire nut. They must be treated as if they are current carrying conductors because under certain circumstances of a fault current, they may become current carrying. If you use a metal box, for Romex, they can be utilized several different ways. You can use a four inch square metal box like this, ground it to the back of the box and have a switch, an outlet, two outlets, two switches. This would be a plastic box that's nailed to the wall hidden behind drywall or plaster. That's also another possibility. <clears throat> if you use a non-metallic box, plastic box, then you must run the bare ground wire to the strap of the switch and ground it to the green screw so that the device is grounded as well. This is a basic tutorial on Romex wiring. You can read more at sparkyjohn.com.